Hello, welcome to my first vlog of 2018 and I guess whenever there's a new year <clears throat> I always think I want to try something different in the business that year, um, you know, maybe have a slightly different approach the year before, mainly just to shake things up and keep myself interested. Um, but one of the things I thought I would try in 2018 is a little bit more sort of vlogging style where you can come along with me, follow me around, see what I get up to as a small business owner. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So for those of you who don't really know me, I'm Sam Flynn. I'm a social media trainer and speaker. So I train businesses in the use of social media. And I also speak at business events about the use of social media for business. And um, yeah, January is quite a busy month. I've got training on and I have speaking events as well. So I thought I would do a weekly vlog through January. So each week in January I will vlog and load a video up to YouTube and we will see how it goes, what the uptake is, if people are interested, if I can keep it up. And if it all works out well, then maybe I'll continue it for the rest of the year. Um, but certainly for January, I thought I would do it. I'm also gonna incorporate some kind of social media tips, some work from home tips, some juggling family life with work life, because I have two young daughters. Um, some productivity tips, all that kind of thing as well. Um, so yeah, it's kind of going to be a come along with me on my small business journey, I guess. Although the journey started a while ago, like eight years ago now, eight and a half years ago. So yeah, it's um, it's well on its way. Um, but yeah, I thought we would give it a go and see how it goes. So today's actually Tuesday. I don't work Mondays usually. I'm um, actually next week, but I don't usually work Mondays. I have that off with my youngest, my littlest who's two, and I do the school run for my oldest who's four. Um, so yeah, I'm starting today on Tuesday. Today's a work from home day. It's actually my first office day of 2018. So I am just catching up on everything I've missed over the Christmas period. I took about two weeks off over Christmas, which was, you know, really nice to get to spend loads and loads of time with my family. And of course, Christmas is the time to take off. It's pretty quiet anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm on major catch up today. I have lots to do. Um, and I'll probably, yeah, check in with you later in the day. So I just thought I'd share with you what I've been working on today. Um, I'm releasing the social media super success plan later this month and it is basically based on my book social media super success this is the plan to support the book so um essentially what i've done is created a 12 module course from the book that walks you through a lot of the topics discussed in the book but obviously going into more depth than i can do in a book um, and then also at the end of each module there'll be actions that you have to take so these are the modules the 12 modules we've got social media strategy social media platform social media profiles target audience and finding them content what you need to consider content images video and live content other content ideas and campaigns engagement and building relationships measurement social media advertising your social media action plan and then the course ends with the final module being a live Q&A session so you can ask any questions you have that have come up over the course. All of these are kind of pre-recorded modules that you can watch back at any time and obviously you can watch back the live Q&A as well that will be recorded too and essentially you have lifetime access to this but you just pay for three months um, so you kind of pay, obviously it's a kind of a three month course, a 12 week course. So you pay for three months to have access to that and then once you've kind of paid your full three months you have lifetime access to the whole course which is fab. So yeah, that's how it's looking. So um, I'm just pulling it all together now really. Um, starting recording, starting to plan the launch, lots of exciting stuff really to be getting on with with this so I thought I would just give you a sneaky peeky into what the modules are going to look like so essentially this follows the exact kind of um, chapter structure of the book the only thing is there's only one chapter on content but I think content is so so important that I decided to split it into three modules because you know a large part of content is all the things you need to think about before you even start creating content obviously imagery video and live video are really important now on social media and then things you know anything else you can share other content ideas as well so yeah that's what I've been working on just now and I'm gonna start planning the launch 
Hi, so the clip you saw before was me at 5.30 this morning and that's something I do pretty much every day or try to. I'd say I manage it four out of five days a week. Um, depending on how well my daughters sleep the night before is usually the kind of determining factor. But yeah, I get up at 5.30 every day and I just find my day goes so much better if I'm up early um, before everyone else. Um, the girls usually get up around sort of quarter to seven, sometimes seven o'clock. So if I get up at half five, I've essentially got an hour and a half to myself before they start to stir. So I either do a workout or I do some work. They're my kind of two things I do. Um, so today I got straight into some work. It's my most productive time to be honest. It's when my kind of brain's at its most sharpest and um, yeah, just cracked on with a load of work this morning and then Wednesday's like my half day so I have until I drop my youngest at nursery at like half eight and then go and drop my eldest at school and then I have to pick up the youngest from nursery at two so I've kind of only got really sort of half day to get stuff done um, but yeah, today I went to the gym because it's another thing that's really important to me to keep fit so I figure if I do kind of a good sort of hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half in the morning and then sort of spend the gym time after I've done drop off and then come back and kind of be back in the office for sort of half ten and then I've got the rest of the time to get work done. It just worked really well for me so that's what you saw before. Um, today I've been working on some slides for a speaking gig I have next week in Durham and I'm now back on the big launch for my social media program, the Social Media Super Success Plan so I'm working on that now. I've also actually just about to go into a Skype call with um, a kind of an accountability partner so I'm a member of the Female Entrepreneur Association and with that you can sign up for an accountability partner who you can have like Skype sessions with and chat about what your goals are, how you're going to achieve them and then they kind of hold you accountable to that so we'll meet kind of every so often on Skype and you know just chat through our progress so today is session one of that. I've only just joined the Female Entrepreneur Association, I'll chat about that more probably in another vlog um, because at the moment it's kind of early days so I can't really give you like loads of information of what I think about it. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. Um, so yeah, I'll check back in after. Hello, so it's now Thursday and today I have just arrived in Liverpool. Today I'm delivering training to a group of florists from all over the UK at the UK School of Floristry. So I'm going to be teaching them all about using social media in their floristry businesses. And again, I'm really going to be focusing a lot on video because I think it's just such a big advantage being a small local business to use yourself and to get people to know you so we're going to definitely be talking about video in today's session obviously i can't take you in with me um but it should be really good it's the second time i've run a session here at the uk school of floristry and yeah that they are really really receptive which is exactly what you want so i'm gonna head in now so it's now Friday and yesterday went really, really well. I actually really love training florists. They're a really, really lovely group of people and they're just really receptive to all the ideas, which is exactly what you want as a trainer. So I had a really nice day yesterday. Um, I don't usually work Fridays. I have my youngest at home with me, who's two, and I do the school run with my eldest, who's four. And um, yeah, I usually just kind of catch upon a bit of work while the littlest naps and she's asleep now. So that gives me that opportunity. Um, she's actually not very well. In fact, she's just been sick all over the floor and all over my shopping in Aldi which was great, but yeah, they handled it amazingly well, which is good when you're kind of just stood there and everything's covered in vomit and you're not at home and you don't really know what to do. So they were fab and we got home and she's fast asleep. But yeah, you didn't really need to know that vomit story, did you? Um, so I thought I'd finish off this weekly video by just sharing a hint or a tip with you. So each week I'm gonna kind of focus on a theme really. So I thought for this first one, as it's a video, I would focus on exactly that video. And I can't tell you what a difference video content has made to my business, particularly in the last six months. So I've always created kind of little short videos for, for the business. So I really committed, I think it was sort of start 2016, making kind of weekly vlogs that were not like this, where you kind of follow me around or I, I chat every day, but more kind of focused on one area and that was it. And I just didn't keep it up. 
And then kind of towards July, August last year, I started creating regular videos for every platform that I'm on on social media. And I do about three a week and they're less than a minute long so that I can use the same one for Instagram because you can only have up to a minute long on Instagram. And they've had such a huge impact in my business and I've never had as many speaking gig requests. I think when you show yourself speaking to camera, it definitely leads to more speaking gigs. I've also had more training requests. I had the best speaking gig of my whole career last year in Lesotho in Africa. It was just amazing and that came about because the company watched my videos and liked what they saw. So I definitely cannot re recommend creating video content enough. I use an app on my iPhone called Clips to create my short videos. If you follow the links um, to any of my social media, you'll see my short videos on there. You'll see they've got subtitles on them and the app Clips records those subtitles live. So it's really, really handy because you don't have to kind of go back figuring out the subtitles after or uploading SRT files or doing anything techy. You just quickly edit them on the app itself. It is only an iPhone app, unfortunately. So if you're an Android user, it's not available on there. And I'm yet to find a good alternative for Android users. And that's why I thought I would keep going with the video this year because it's done me so well. And that's why I thought I'd add in these vlogs where um, you know, I start adding more content to my YouTube channel and share that across social media as well and and just see what the uptake is on this. So yeah, my, my tip in this video is definitely to start creating video. And I know one of the things that holds so many people back from creating video is the thought of being on camera. Let me tell you, no one likes being on camera, me included. No one likes hearing their voice back, no one likes looking at themselves. But the only person who is criticizing you is yourself. No one is going to be looking at you, what you look like, what you sound like. They're just going to be listening to your message and that's the most important thing. So I really recommend giving video a go. I always say start by just recording some, not necessarily posting them, but just getting used to talking to camera. And then maybe give yourself a week, two weeks of practicing doing that and then hit that push button, get it out there and I promise you the impact will be huge. So thank you very much for watching my first ever weekly vlog. Next week's going to be a little bit more exciting. I've got three speaking gigs next week so I'm going to be taking you around the UK with me. Um, I'm not sure how much I can do in the events themselves but I will see what I can get away with and um, yeah if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel please do subscribe because that's going to be the place where you're going to be seeing these regular vlogs. Thanks so much and I will see you next week. Bye bye.